and welcome back to a Kerbal Space Program video. It's been a while, hasn't it? So I decided to create a new mini-series called Minmus Base Camp, where we will be attempting to colonize Minmus, the easiest celestial body to get to in Kerbal Space Program. Now I don't really have the patience to do something like this for, uh, Duna, Lathe, or gosh, even Eve, especially Eve, but I think it's a good place to start since Minmus is an easy place to go to, and it's also one of my favorite planets, actually. It has a very nice, uh, minty tint to it. And the first episode is going to be our orbital camp, which will facilitate a lab for research, and some hitchhiker storage modules, a bunch of science kits, all that good stuff. Now, I will warn you that some of these robotic parts if you're new to KSP and you try using the robotic parts, I don't know if this is just a caveat of KSP or if it's just me having this problem, but sometimes, even when I have a direct communication to the KSC, seems that the, uh, the robotic parts lock and I can't move them anymore, so during the end of the video, you're gonna see a bunch of mishaps and just flipping and a bunch of clipping. And also... I'm just gonna warn you right here, I'm gonna have to be using cheats in this video because the game just wasn't cooperating with me for some reason. I I had gotten a Minmus encounter, but it would when I reached Minmus's sphere of influence, it suddenly just got deleted for some reason and it pushed me out and not in a Minmus encounter anymore. So in this video I'm gonna have to use cheats. Sorry if anyone knows a fix to this. Um, then please comment down below. I don't really want to be using cheats in videos because it's kind of claustrophobic. Also feels really bad for the viewers. And we are creating the monstrosity of a rocket that's going to be needed to send this thing to Minmus. Now, you heard me say that Minmus was an easy place to go to, but I didn't say that it's easy to go to with a payload of this size. In fact, this is so massive that we're gonna need two of the largest solid rocket boosters in the game. I believe they're the Clydesdale, which are modeled after the Space Shuttle SRBs. And yeah, they're just 2.5 meters in diameter. That's the width of the Mark III command pod, which you can see on screen. And I'm gonna add these probe core and reaction wheel to deorbit it, but I didn't need to do that in this case because I just had to put it in a Minmus orbit. And we're just adding all the crew, being careful not to just add pilots, because I also need to add scientists into the lab, or else it won't work. Technically, it doesn't really matter, but it helps. And also, we're adding a bunch of reaction wheels. When I first tested out this craft, it would just wobble itself to pieces, and I didn't have that much control over it. And I added these, they seemed to work, but then they just stopped working, and then the whole craft would just... The fairing would disconnect from the reaction wheels, and then I wouldn't be able to do anything. And here is the launch! Let's go! Oh, very slow. We should probably speed this footage along a bit. No, I'm serious. This thing, this has been sped up like 300, three times normal speed, so it was pretty slow once this thing got off the pad. I know that... I could have said that I could have used just liquid boosters, which are more efficient, more Delta V. But I think I did a pretty good job with the Delta V here. Uh, the lower, the upper stage with the Rhino engine has enough Delta V to send the payload to Minmus and capture it into a circular Minmus orbit. And we're just going to send up high through the atmosphere here. And then we're just going to decouple the boosters and fire up eight engines. Now, when you decouple, you the boosters, you want to keep your throttle very low because this thing has a tendency to shake itself apart when it's at full thrust suddenly, so I recommend gently tapping the shift key to increase your throttle. And now that the payload fairing is gone because we're high above the atmosphere now, we can just uh, time warp ahead, reach our apoapsis, and then burn 90 degrees and circularize into our orbit. Now, I... To be fair, this isn't that of an efficient orbital plane, or er, the orbital line is not good because Minmus is on on an inclined orbit. So places like the Mun that are on and Duna, I believe, who are all on the same plane, that's easy. That's that's no problem. 
to get to, but going some places like Jewel, Elu, or this planet, the moon here, Minmus, it takes a lot of Delta V to change inclinations. And we're just gonna detach that lower stage and circularize. Not the not the best circularization. Uh, so we're just gonna have to warp back to Apoapsis, point prograde again, and just send our orbit into a satisfactory place. We don't have that much stuff actually in the map screen right now because this is the uh, save file that I use for all my other missions. Now I just got a moon mun encounter right there. I don't want that. I always figure out that whenever I try to get a Minmus encounter, I always get a Mud encounter instead. And once I had a science mode save where I wanted to do a Minmus mission, but I got a Mud encounter instead. And I was like, eh, Mud encounters, nothing really different about the science games. Let's just go there. It's easier to get an encounter. So I had to use the actual Maneuver Maker app integrated with KSP 1.12, I believe. But... I don't really use it that many times, I only use it when I just can't seem to get an encounter correct. And we're just going to time warp up until the uh, maneuver node takes place. And I could probably talk about like why I'm choosing Minmus. Um, first of all, it's a very easy celestial body to go to. Um, and that makes it easier for me to make content as fast as possible. And also because I actually... Minmus isn't really a moon, it's more of a captured comet, or an asteroid. So, I think it's very weird because other captured asteroids, like, Minmus is quite similar to Val, but I believe Minmus is a bit smaller, so I think it's pretty, it'd be a good idea to start our colonization on Minmus because it's an easy place to go to, easier than the moon, so yeah, if Earth had a Minmus in its solar system, then NASA probably would have sent astronauts there first because it takes less Delta V to get to and to come back because it has such a low gravity. It's smaller than Val. And here we are at the maneuver node and we're going to make our burn. Now, I don't have to use the nuclear engines for this because we're not going interplanetary like all the way to, say, Jewel or Moho. Wow, Moho. Actually, Moho takes a lot more Delta V than this, but anyway. So we don't need a super efficient nuclear engine to do this, mostly because I'm. it's going to take forever with the nuclear engines, because this is such a heavy payload. This, If you added a single nuclear engine on there, it would probably be have a thrust weight ratio of 0 0.00001, even in a vacuum. And for some reason, we didn't get our encounter? while we were burning, so in a few seconds here you're gonna see me pop open the cheat menu and just cheat this thing into orbit of Minmus because we had an encounter, it's not like I burned and then I didn't get an encounter. I actually did get an encounter and then while I was time warping it suddenly disappeared, I don't know why. And I set the thrust limiter really low on that rhino stage. And we get down a little more. This is sped up a lot, so you're probably not going to get an encounter as fast as I did. See, it was a bunch of glitching with the encounter. I don't know why, and then Time Warping suddenly fixed it. And then suddenly Time Warp decided that it wasn't going to let me have a good day, and literally just said that, whoops, sorry, you don't have an encounter. You're just going to be in a hot, very elliptical orbit of the of Kerbin. And that made me genuinely mad. This is when the encounter disappeared. I don't know why this is happening. If anyone knows, please just tell me. And oh, we got a we got a Mun Gravitius encounter, but I don't want to go to the Mun. I want to go to Minmus. So I just had to open up the cheat menu and just set our orbit because I really had no other choice. Um, otherwise, redoing the mission, then I wouldn't be able to get the content out as fast. And here we are having a problem with the robotics. Um, you don't see it right now, but we're just going to have to get clear that Rhino stage. And we're going to try unfolding. This is where another bug from KSP comes out. I've always found that the robotic parts are very glitchy and stuff like that. And also, um, I was going to crash this thing into Minmus, but we didn't have enough electric charge. Here I am just messing around with the robotics, trying to set them so that they wouldn't be locked. And now that they're locked, we can just uh, keep researching and stuff like that. 
and that magnetometer boom literally goes right through. And here's a nice shot. So if anyone knows any solution to some of these bugs that I talked about in this video, then I would really appreciate it. And thanks everyone for watching, and this is Andrew the Astronaut, signing off.